we continue honoring the life and legacy of Professor Rotten, master and mentor of many generations of neurosurgeons. We continue with enthusiasm sharing his teachings across uh, the globe. And um, the theme of this and topic of this meeting is tradition and innovation, the tradition of learning microsurgical neuroanatomy through lab work, dissection of anatomical specimens, lab training, to then translate into innovations in the operating room, as we've seen along this meeting. Our first weekend was, you know, very successful, exceeding all expectations. We had near 2,000 attendees with 111 countries represented. This means that all continents were represented and countries that are even remote uh, had the opportunity to join us and learn from masters in neurosurgery. I believe this goes along with Professor Rotten's leitmotiv. He always <laughs> said he wanted to have an impact in neurosurgery every second, every day. So someone that had been trained under him could taught someone else so a patient everywhere in every corner in the world could be benefit from these teachings and from this knowledge. And I think he would be proud of what uh, we're mm -hmm. all doing today and in, over the past weekend. Past weekend was very special for many aspects, uh, but I wanna highlight what I believe was the most special of all sessions in honor of uh, our master and our hero, Professor Evandro Oliveira, who actually followed uh, this session and others and that was uh, something truly remarkable. Tonight, we are starting with this unique session in brainstem and posterior fossa surgery. We are uh, very honored to have with us Dr. Aaron Cohen Gadol, who is a pioneer in our field, in the field of micro neurosurgical education. He's built a unique resource that is being used all around the globe, the Neurosurgical Atlas, and we'll be so happy to hear from him uh, uh, shortly. And we'll have a special lecture by a genius in a skull based surgery that has been admired for, for uh, <coughs> admired by many of us, Dr. Arthur Goyle. He'll talk about petroclival and cavernous cellos meningiomas and how he plans his operations, which will be a fascinating talk. We have again in this second weekend um, of the Roto Society meeting a large presence of the Japanese masters of micro neurosurgery. As we were talking, we all deeply admire their commitment to excellence in our field. Oops. I apologize because my presentation just went, uh, just uh, crashed. Um, While you're bringing that up, I have to say we all have a lot to learn from our Japanese colleagues, Juan Carlos. Absolutely. Oh, what the heck is going on? I am sorry. So yes, and having the presence of, uh, of our uh, Japanese colleagues makes this meeting, uh, you know, extremely uh, valuable to all of us. Um, then we will continue tomorrow morning after our session today with uh, another spectacular uh, session that has been organized by uh, Dr. Morcos and Dr. Rubino, both members of the board who have put together an impressive program and during, oh my goodness, I can't believe this is happening. I apologize because this is crashing on me. And um, we'll have the special lecture of Dr. Ali Chris tomorrow. Uh, do, you wanna, do you wanna open, uh, close your PowerPoint and reopen it uh, to see if that fixes it? Close the entire program and reopen. Yeah, that's what I'm, what I'm doing, but it keeps crashing as I do that. Um, let's see if I can make it work. It <clears throat> doesn't, doesn't work. So we will have, uh, I don't need the slides actually, but tomorrow we'll have Ali Chris giving a special lecture on uh, the cavernous sinus and so in the cavernous sinus will be very spectacular. And then we'll have, after that, we'll have Dr. Carolina Martins uh, talking about things that are important in the lab for those that want to have a lab or uh, continue working and some of the innovations that are happening in micro uh, neurosurgical education. Um, along those lines, we will have Dr. Uh, Guillerme Carvajal Rivas, who is a true pioneer on the uh, field of uh, micro surgical education and anatomy. So 
after that special session on 3D, which we also have Dr. Alice Blasak Rotten, Professor Rotten's daughter, will be with us, uh, giving us a perspective on his, of Professor Rotten's family life. And after we have a session on endoscopic in the nasal skull base surgery, along with some of our Japanese colleagues too. And without further ado, given that my, pa my uh, keynote presentation is crashing continuously, I'm gonna pass this along to uh, Dr. Sorensen and uh, Dr. Robertson will give us a brief introduction of what the Rotten Collection is, the Rotten uh, Foundation, and uh, a nice video overview in Professor Rotten's life. Please, Jeff, uh, the screen is yours. I think Jeff would like for me to present first uh, just a few comments about my relationship with Dr. Rotten over the years. Uh, it was a privilege to work with him, primarily during the last 25 years of his career, uh, far after his retirement in the mid-1990s. Uh, Dr. Roten and I participated in a number of skull-based teaching courses in the late 1990s, and that led to uh, the development of a resident, annual resident teaching skull-based course held in Memphis, Tennessee, at our institution at the University of Tennessee, uh, that began in 2002, and the integral part of that was Dr. Roten's commitment to every course that we taught to provide the anatomical, neuroanatomical teaching slides that he did so beautifully in 3D. And that relationship continued uh, from 2002 until a year before his death when his health failed him and he just could not participate. But he would come each year and participate in that course sponsored by the AANS and it was a very successful course. One of the issues that uh, throughout all of those courses that uh, I struggled with and uh, many of the participants was that after each course of his presentation with his 3D presentations of neuroanatomy, uh, we would often uh, just sit there in amazement and watch the presentations, but we had no way to preserve his anatomical teachings. And it was in 2010 when Dr. Roten uh, presented for the first time a digitized format of 3D presentation that led us to believe that with the digital format uh, that we could, in fact, develop uh, a method whereby we could capture all of his lectures in 3D digitized in addition to capturing the visual, to be able to capture his audio and thereby preserve his anatomical lectures for future generations. And so with the privilege of working with Dr. Jeff Sorensen at the time, uh, Jeff and I began in 2010 uh, to develop that with Dr. Roten. My role in that was as a past president of the AANS to secure the funding for the development of the Roten Collection, which the AANS graciously provided. Dr. Bill Caldwell was part of that at the time. Bill was actually president of the AANS in those years and that, that, that facilitated that development. And then from 2010 uh, until uh, his death uh, in 2016, uh, Jeff and I would go at least three, sometimes four times a year to, to visit with him in Gainesville to, to prepare the various presentations in digital format, all of which were provided by Dr. Roten uh, and his, uh, all of his microsurgical dissections and presentations. And he would review each one of them, uh, sign off on, on each one and say, this, this is what I want. And then they would be entered into the Roten collection. Uh, in fact, in February of 2016, roughly a month before he, his death, uh, we visited with him in Gainesville and did the last preparation of a lecture on the orbital anatomy by Dr. Roten for the Roten collection. So it was a privilege to have worked with him uh, during this period of time, such a, an amazing individual, such a gracious individual. And the main thrust of the work that uh, we have, I think, provided is in the development of the Roten Collection to preserve his teachings in such a way that for future generations, uh, it will be available for those that are, have interest uh, in this type of work. Honor your mentor fund uh, through the AANS, and the AANS Honor Your Mentor Fund is part of the NRAF, the Neurosurgery Research Education Foundation, 
of which I was the chairman of that foundation for during that period of time for five years. And uh, through that foundation, we established the fund uh, under Dr. Roten's name, the Honor Your Mentor Fund for Dr. Roten. And that those monies could be used for research and for fellowships, specifically in neuroanatomical research uh, activities. So it's a privilege to participate in this, to provide some insight into uh, relationship with a wonderful individual. And certainly uh, it was a, a wonderful time for me to spend with Dr. Roden, and particularly in the last five or six years of his life uh, that he was time to spend with him. He was just a wonderful individual. So thank you for allowing me to participate. Thank you. And and I had the pleasure of meeting Dr. Roten through uh, Dr. Robertson's skull based courses in Memphis, where Dr. Roten would come lecture every year. And, you know, his 3D lectures in anatomy just transformed my interest in anatomy. They were so compelling. And, and I got to know him better, as Dr. Robertson mentioned, uh, through the development of the Roten Collection. And uh, that's available at rotencollection.org. His images are uh, interactive, uh, the, the videos are in 3D or 2D. Formats and there'll be another lecture about that tomorrow uh, to demonstrate that. Um, so again, uh, I was impressed uh, with Dr. Roten's ability to have really high expectations for people that worked around him, his fellows, and everyone uh, they touched. But he motivated people uh, through kindness and encouragement, and uh, and led them to, to to go on and do great things. So. Uh, and, and the, the laboratory that he had was really at the crossroads of art and science. And he realized how the impact of this little, little laboratory could spread throughout the world exponentially with each new person that he mentored. And as you mentioned that uh, earlier, he, you know, his goal was that so, the work in that laboratory would help a patient somewhere in the world every second of every day. And I think he uh, did accomplish that. And I think the Roten Society will continue to multiply the impact of his work. As he, as he instructed us to do, he instructed us to keep working, which we're going to do. But um, now I'd like to play a, a short video that Dr. Robertson and I put together after Dr. Roten left us in 2016. The brain is really, truly the crown jewel of creation and evolution. It's our greatest unexplored scientific frontier some people say it's the seat of the soul. I don't know that it's the seat of the soul, but certainly through our brain and mind, we become aware of our own essence and our own soul. Al Roten was born into the most humble of circumstances and taught to work hard every day. He was drawn to a life of service and considered social work and the seminary. But his first exposure to neuroscience in college sparked his true passion, which when combined with his curiosity, work ethic, and love for humanity, resulted in a lifelong quest to improve neurosurgical care through research, teaching, and mentorship. The great surgeon is like the giant oak tree that sends its roots deep into the earth to the source of love and kindness from which we constantly replenish our ability to treat our patients with compassion and it makes us reach out with our limbs and branches to assist the world with skill and knowledge. His laboratory was the best in the world, producing science that was also great art. Our goal in this is to make all of them Michelangelo's of microsurgical anatomy. The best image guidance that you can have is the knowledge of microsurgical anatomy. And I started this to make what is a delicate, faithful, awesome experience for my patients, accurate, gentle, and safe. His body of work is on par with any of the great anatomists of the past. He gave himself his time and his work freely to us. He showed us the impact one teacher can have on the world. He offered us true friendship over a free cup of coffee. We will miss him dearly. There is no finish line. Thank you, Dr. Roden.
it's always so special to hear that voice, isn't it? Thanks, <clears throat> Thanks, Jeff and John. Do you guys have anything else? No. Nope. Good. Go ahead. Th th thank you so much. We're looking forward to hearing more from you later. Um, I think next we're going to have uh, Dr. Kobayashi, who is the president of the Rotten Society, uh, give us uh, a few remarks. Please, Sige, uh, unmute yourself and share with us your, your thoughts. Sige, Dr. Kobayashi, you are muted. You hear me now? Very well. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Joan. On behalf of all members of the board of the Rotten Society, I'd like to say thank you to everybody, especially, first of all, I'd like to say, Joan, you have made a fantastic program, this meeting, and uh, I'd like to congratulate you on this. The secondly, I'd like to say thank you for attending this meeting, all our colleagues, neurosurgeons from all over the world. Uh, <laughs> We have done about one half of this meeting uh, and hope that you will enjoy the second half of this meeting and program. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Kobayashi. Um, Dr. Matusima, please um, give us a few, a few words. Okay. Um, in our last uh, board meeting, you know, Dr. Matusima was elected by unanimity the next president because Dr. Kobayashi asked to See, he said he wanted to retire and I spend time <laughs> in a different way, which we all understood very well. Uh, and we are honored to have Dr. Uh, Matusima leading the society now. So please, Toshio. Yeah, thank you, Joan. Uh, I am Toshio Matsushima, a newly appointed president of the Roton Society in the next two years. I feel very honored and at the same time, I feel a strong responsibility as a president. I'll do my best to spread the knowledge of the microsurgical anatomy to the world and work hard so that our patient will be the, receive the more accurate, gentle and safe operation as Dr. Oton Hope. Actually, first, I'll work together with Dr. Kure of Turkey so that the third Roton Society meeting in 2022 will be a success. I appreciate your <coughs> understanding and support. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Matusima. As you just heard, you know, we also elected Dr. Ture to run the third uh, Rotten Society meeting in two years in Istanbul. Hopefully we can travel at that time. And it is such an honor to have a giant in Neurosuite as he is, uh, giving the next uh, his efforts for the next meeting of the society so with no more details let's move on to the to our first session of the day which is on uh, brainstem and posterior fossa surgery we have a spectacular panelist